Good morning, everybody. Wanted to make a quick little video talking about quote seven from the great quotes sheet. We talked about it in class, but in case you missed it or forgot or need it again, here's a little video talking about that. Now, uh, before I talk about the quotes, I want to show you something that might make this easier moving forward or if you are still working on any of the quotes. If you go to the text, it's actually searchable, meaning if you press control F, a little search box will appear in the upper right corner, and if you type something in, it'll find it in the document. So the first quote had the word spare me in it, and I forget who said that, so I'm going to just type in spare me and hit enter, and look, it finds it. And so I know that was by Proctor, you know, and there's the rest of the quote, and he's talking to Elizabeth. So it just makes it really easy to find the quotes in the text so that you don't have to comb through and reread everything just to find who said something. So with that in mind, uh, if you haven't already done this part of it, I want you to go and look up who said quote seven here, let you rest upon the justice of the court, the court will send her home, I know it. You don't have to put in the whole quote, but if you start typing some of it, it should be able to find it for you. So I want you to literally just go do that now. Pause the video if you need to um, and go do that. It takes like 30 seconds to find who said it. Um, if that, then I mean, go do it. I'm just gonna sit here looking at pictures of cats while you do. Okay, did you do it? I hope so. So, now that you've done A and B, who said it, who it was said to, let's talk about C and D. What the quote means, like what's going on with it, and its significance. Um, what it's about is Reverend Hale telling Francis Nurse to just trust in the system. His wife's been arrested. She's been accused of witchcraft, but Hale is so confident that Rebecca Nurse is such a good person, that she is beyond reproach, that there's no way she'll be found guilty. And if the court's working the way it should, she'll be found innocent and she'll be sent home. So this quote is about Hale convincing Nurse to just calm down. He wants to save his wife, who wouldn't? But he doesn't need to do anything, especially not anything rash, because everything will be fine. That's what the quote's about. Now, its significance, why it was included, has a few different facets to it. Um, the first thing that we have to recognize is this is not a new sentiment. Trust the system, everything will be fine. It's essentially that phrase of if you've done nothing wrong you have nothing to hide or nothing to be afraid of which we want to believe is true but we've been shown throughout history is not always the case and Hale just believing this actually shows a little bit of naivete on his part he's being a little naive in not recognizing how things work and probably the biggest piece of evidence we have has already been presented to us. We know, we the readers know, the court that is assembled is corrupted. It's not functioning perfectly as it should. And we know this because we know who their star witness is. At the center of all the accusations, the one person who's sitting in the middle of everything, pointing the finger at everyone, we know who that is. And we also know that she is a compulsive liar. And that is Abigail. Abigail's their star witness. And she's lying. And she's enacting her own plan to get what she wants. That's not justice. That's not the court operating as it should. And because we know this, we know that Reverend Hale's belief here in the justice system, in the legal system, is flawed. Because we know it will not work the way it should because it's already been corrupted from the inside. Now, 
the last thing to mention about this is this is all a reference back to what was going on in Arthur Miller's life when he wrote this play. When he was inspired to write it by the Red Scare and all of the congressional hearings into communist activity of Americans, it's a similar thing. People were pointing fingers at each other. There were witnesses saying, oh, I saw this or this person's a communist. There was all sorts of accusations flying around and some people were dragged up before committees and put to the question who had done nothing wrong and were understandably very nervous. Those who got questioned usually didn't emerge unscathed and they were told in no in, in different words probably if you've done nothing wrong you've nothing to hide trust the system if you're innocent we'll find that and you'll be fine but it didn't work that way and so Hale's insistence in trusting the system here is meant to mirror the real life things that were going on in Arthur Miller's life. And that's why this quote is so important. That's why this quote is one I wanted to spend time and talk about. The others are important and they all reveal things about what's going on inside the play, but this is the one that reaches beyond it into life and talks about something we know. We know, either through experience, personal observation, or being told things others have experienced, we know the system does not always function the way it should for various reasons. We know that. And so for people to insist blindly, like Hale, that it does, is a little blind to reality. And Arthur Miller is trying to point that out. He's trying to make a commentary about that, like, hey, this is not good. I mean, we're heavily foreshadowing things that are to come that we're going to hear about in Act 3 when we move on to that. So, I wanted to take a minute and go over that quote if you needed it, and hopefully all the others are going well. If you have any questions, by all means, please reach out, let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.